Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is an example of a probability problem. When we read the question, it says, A recent study of 400 patients found that of 150 alcoholic patients, 102 had elevated cholesterol levels. Of the 250 non-alcoholic patients, 54 had elevated cholesterol levels. If a patient is selected at random, find the probability of the following. Letter A, a patient is a non-alcoholic. B, a patient who is an alcoholic uh, with elevated cholesterol levels. A patient is a non-alcoholic and has elevated cholesterol levels. So pause the video and see if you can try to do these on your own. All right, the wording might be slightly confusing. Now with something like this where you have, you know, you have a total of 400 patients and the, uh, you know, the patients are separating the two groups you know, alcoholic and non-alcoholic. And then within that, you have cholesterol, elevated cholesterol levels. So make a little table. You So over here, let's just put alcoholic. Non-alcoholic put the totals around the edges and then on top um, has elevated cholesterol and has not. Or does not have does not have. all right so out of the 150 alcoholic patients 102 has elevated cholesterol levels so what that means is those who have not, does not have that is 48, right? Because both of these have to add up to 150. And then you have 250 alcoholic patient, non-alcoholic patients, that would be a total of 400, is 54. So those who have, out of the 400 patients, well, let me not get ahead of myself. Um, the total here would be 156. Now, this is 54. This is 250. Subtract 250, or sorry, 54 from 250. And you get uh, 190. Six. Now this total right here, 48 plus 196 is for 244. So when I add these two together, I get 400. So that works. Now how do I find A? A patient is a non-alcoholic. It's always frequency, the desired frequency over the total. So here it's um, non-alcoholic, which would be 250 out of 400. Now type that into your calculator. So 250 divided by 400 
and I get 0 0.625. Now, how do I calculate the next one? Well, the way it's worded, it's kind of tricky, but it's given that they're an alcoholic and you're calculating elevated cholesterol levels. So, who is an alcoholic? So, that means all you're looking at is a group of alcoholics who have elevated cholesterol levels. So it'd be 102 out of 150. Yeah, this is 0 0.68. Probably like can be written as a decimal or a percentage. More than often than not, since this class, you're going to see it as a decimal. Letter C, a patient is a non-alcoholic and has elevated cholesterol levels. Notice here it uses the word and. So it's not given that it's a non-alcoholic patient. It's the patient, you know, is a non-alcoholic and has elevated cholesterol levels. So it would be you know, this number right here, which is 54, and it would be out of 400. So let's see what that is. 54 divided by 400 gives me 0 0.115. And that's it.